Hello, in case you missed our last post. A woman recently filed a lawsuit against Cardi B because two years ago when Cardi was four months pregnant and went to the doctor's office that happens to be where this woman was working as a security guard, they got into it. This guard was so starstruck to see Cardi that she tried to get footage of her on her phone and Cardi, who has turned a few folks down for pictures before depending on the scenery that they asked for the picture in, and who was pregnant of course, and at a doctor's office, probably not in the mood and probably wasn't even dressed for pictures or video, stopped this woman from recording her. So they went at it verbally to where a staff member got in between them to stop them. And this is according to witnesses. And the guard ended up being fired because of her conduct that day. But now in her lawsuit, she blames her being let go on Cardi, stating that Cardi used her celebrity to get her fired. And also stating that Cardi physically assaulted her and to add insult to injury, spat on her and to add insult to injury spat on her and called her racial slurs okay but after learning this Cardi called the bush out immediately in some now deleted tweets. I, w I went a little crazy on Twitter today, but I'm not even gonna talk about that because at the end of the day, I'm just gonna let time, only time will tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna be talking about that. In some now deleted tweets stating that not only did none of that happen, but the woman is lighter than her and looks Latin American too. So how could she have possibly used any racial slurs, right? Well, here's another deleted tweet that we missed that she shared to help her case. And we wanted to share it with you guys to give you guys a full spectrum on this case. It says, here's a better pick, but she claiming she's African American and using racial slurs? Girl, rolling eyes emojis, get the F out of here. See you in court though. And here's that picture that Cardi was showing to prove that she couldn't have possibly used racial slurs on someone that she also thought was Latin. Now, here's my little input on this. There's a time and place for everything. I also used to hold a position where I worked around celebrities, football players or whatever. I mean, not as a security guard or anything like that, but I would see these players or stars in the hallways at work or even work in the same room with them sometimes. And part of our job description paraphrased was that if we act like a groupie fan and try to take pictures of them or with them, then we were automatically fired, no strikes needed because they were basically our coworkers more or less. Now, a celebrity walking into this woman's job to see this doctor was more than likely a rare occasion, I'm so sure. But I'm also sure that as a security guard, as someone who's there to protect and be on the lookout to make sure that nothing happens under your watch, how can that possibly be if you're too busy trying to record a celebrity? How? How? And then them firing you seems inevitable because how crazy does it look for a guard to be arguing or as she says, fighting with the patient? That's what it was, you're fighting with the patient. Celebrity or not, that's wild. If I was a patient myself and I witnessed that, I would feel unsafe. And if I was the one who hired her, I would feel uncomfortable. Like, why would you still be working there after I witnessed that? When you're working somewhere, regardless of job title, you have to carry yourself professionally, period. Right or wrong? Exactly. Now, since we're on the subject of Cardi, she also has spoken out about her opinion and feelings on D-Wade's 12-year-old child. So check it on out. So, I want to talk about... Oh, i breath. Shit. So I really wanted to talk about Dwayne Wade. Is that? Yeah. I think that was a I'm gonna talk about Zaya. I'm not, I want to talk about Zaya, right? Let's talk about Zaya. So you know, a lot of people has been giving opinions about this little kid wanting to transition and everything, and. I feel like a lot of people are forgetting that this is a 12 year old kid that before you say your opinions and everything let's not forget that this is a kid let's not forget that this kid is could be very very sensitive so that's one and let me tell you something right i feel like people like people be people are saying that this kid is too young to transition but it's like how how old is too young if you are born thinking that you are a a a girl in a boy's body how old do you have to be to 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 keep knowing that you they that, that that's who you that you are that's who you are that's that's your identity 
if that's who you feel that you are, how, uh, what is the age limit for you to know that that's what you want to be? I've seen a documentary before, way before this Zaya situation, about this five-year-old little girl that at five-year-old, she transitioned to be a girl and she knew that that's what she wanted to be because she, she knew that she did she likes to wear dresses she likes to play with barbies and if and if you're born like that you're going to forever be like that and whether the age that the age that you pick it to be it's your choice that's like that's like right all right there's certain things that I always wanted to do when I was younger, right? And I be and I and I started to do now. Now that I have money, I'd be like, wow, I wish I would have been there how to do this. I wish I would have been all this and that. I would have been happy. What's the point of you being older and then transitioning and being like, damn, I should have been do this. I could have been found my happiness if I would have been do it. Let people find their happiness, especially kids. Let them feel comfortable doing what they want to be. And it is, and it's true. A lot of trends that that I know around me, like when I ask them, like, when did you knew that you wanted, you know, to change? And they said, I always, I always felt like I was a girl. I always felt like I was a girl. Like I was born like this. People are born like that. Like the Lady Gaga song, "I Was Born This Way." That shit is fucking real. And I know a lot of us is, a lot of people is old school. Because, you know, things is, people, are, some people are old school because the parents, the grandparents that raised them or the area that they, they grew up in. A lot of people don't grow up with trans, gay people, this and that. They just don't. So, you know, I understand that they just don't be understanding certain shit, but please try to understand. Cause sometimes you'll be, cause sometimes you'll be wanting people to understand you. So try to understand somebody else, especially when it's a child. And then a lot of people kept saying like, oh, well, why they put their kids business out there? If you don't want it, your kid to be people giving an opinion about your kid, you shouldn't put their business out there. Well, let's say they would have kept it a secret. Y'all would have been saying, well, I think his son is gay. I think his son is gay. Oh my gosh, I think his son is gay. Why not just, well, if it's, when you hold a secret, it just feels like such a burden. You might as well free and let it out. And while you free and letting it out and telling your truth, why not educate? Why not educate? I don't know that's how i feel that's how i feel like because everybody kept saying like if you ain't wanted people to say all these disrespectful things about your kid you shouldn't have your opinions out there uh, uh you shouldn't be putting your business out there well before he even came out i used to see people talking saying oh i think his son is kind of you know zesty this this and that why keep a secret and feel like a burden and feel like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen if somebody finds out? Somebody's going to find out. And then somebody's gonna put the business out there and then y'all gonna be laughing. Okay, 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 okay. Speak your truth. Speak it. And educate. And start opening people's eyes. My skin do look good, right? Mm. You know what I'm saying? It looks so smooth and everything. But I do need to find somebody that, um, what's that shit called? Oh, fuck. I don't know why I keep forgetting all these words. You know what? I had such a bad headache today and I'm so jittery that I'm just like, my mind is all over the place. But somebody that, that's good on popping whiteheads because I have a couple of whiteheads right here and that shit we look, I hate that shit. I only know one good person that does that, and she's in the Bronx, and I haven't been there in how many. I really want that shit gone. But other than that, my skin be looking real, real smooth, you know what I'm saying? Fuck your mind. This is what happens when you fuck and mind your business. When you fuck and mind your business, this is the result. Your face smooth like butter, like butter. Wanna 
inside of me, inside of my body. Oh, oh, oh. I'm still all good. Y'all gas me. Now I can't even stop thinking about how good it look. What do y'all think? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Wait, hold up. Guess who's having a shirt sale, y'all? TalkYoShirt.com. All the shirts are on clearance to make room for some new designs, so get them while you can. There's only a limited inventory, okay? The shirts have some positive messages, and most importantly, you'll be supporting a small black business. As you can see, the shirts are prepackaged and ready for shipment. There's no waiting around. You will definitely receive your tracking number within 2 to 24 hours. Guaranteed. There's no playing with your orders, okay? So what are you waiting for? Shop at www.talkyoshirt.com. That's T-A-L-K. Y-O-S-H-I-R-T dot com. Petsyblog.com signing off.